Hey YouTubers, it's the American Samurai back again with Doctor Who in a long time. <clears throat> Most of these been either Frank and King or Frank and Dude that have been doing some Doctor Who reviews. I figured it was time for me to get back in the saddle. So we are looking at the 8th of March, The Protectors of Time. This is the second 8th of March box. And as far as I know, the final one. For Doctor Who fans, it's essentially Brave and the Bold, but with all female characters. So we have Disc 1, Stolen Futures, by Elizabeth Niles. Roman and Kenine have stayed in East Vase to help the ancient and noble people. Freed from their shackles, but for the first, but first they must heal the divisions in the ranks. And those who see a very different future for the Thrall race. I give this one a 5 out of 5. A very enjoyable story. I really liked it. Disc 2, The Prism. Lady Christina de Souza is crashing an exclusive party in search of a priceless diamond out in deep space time travelers jenny and Noah collide with a strange diamond state vessel what is the what is prism and what does it, does it want with earth this is a fun story i'm not i'm not familiar with the lady christina character um but i am slightly familiar with jenny and this is exciting to see her further adventures um and that she has her own companion and all the stuff that happens to them i enjoyed that one I enjoyed this one too, um, but probably not as much. I give this about a 4 out of 5. Still good. And if you're a fan of Jenny, I think this is one worth checking out. And then we have Disc 3, which is Turn of the Tides. Uh, in the footsteps of Sarah Jane, Ronnie Chandler is investigating strange weather phenomenon. He's caught up on an old friend Joe Jones, but Yuna is also in the case led by science officer Jack. Soon all three women will be on a mission to the moon. Another great one. I really like this one. Five. I'm not familiar with the Jack character. The other ones, though, I am somewhat familiar with. I have seen a little bit of uh, Sarah Jane Adventures. And I like the fact that they do include... Ronnie does actually have Sarah Jane's uh, famous Sonic lipstick. Overall, great set. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, this is essentially the Brave and the Bold for Doctor Who female characters. I wish they'd done another one. So far, it doesn't look like they will. But... Uh, of the two sets, I enjoyed both of them very well, and I like the different crossovers. Frankly, I think the one I would like to see, uh, I would like to see another crossover with Jenny. Uh, if Big Fish does seem straight out, they are. All right, let's see a crossover with um, Jenny, Mags, and one of the past incarnations of the Doctor. But overall, I enjoyed the whole set a whole five. I think this is a great series for National Women's Day. And it is just as good as the first set I reviewed. Overall, I enjoyed the 8th of March series. I'm sad that there isn't any more. I kind of wish they'd continue the series, maybe spreading it outside the Doctor Who, Doctor Who universe. You know, maybe we could have seen a... I thought it would be Jerry Anderson version of this with... Um, a story where one of the angels teams up with Atlanta Shaw and goes on an adventure. Or Lady Penelope ends up going on an adventure with, um, <clears throat> I don't know, Joe 90. Yes, I realize Joe's not a female character, but this could be an alternate dimension with Joe. Joe 90 is Joe Net, Jonah 90, or Gina 90, or something like that, you know. Just some random thoughts. All right, until next time, this is American Samurai saying have fun. Don't be afraid to try new things, even if it's different. Even if it's different than you're used to. And I'll see you next time here on Bucky's Own 49.